So I arrive at the bouncer, I'm supposed to be 19 years old but I'm looking like this, I have half a bottle of vodka in me and right at the moment where I pull my ID card, my best friend comes from the back, looks at the bouncer and tells him, hey look, this guy's named Uranus. What's up folks, it's Uranus, welcome to another video. In today's video we'll be talking about how I used to go to pubs, parties, clubs, music festivals and bars, all of that looking more than 10 years younger than I actually was because of a massively delayed puberty. I only started my medically induced adulthood at the age of 25 years old and my hormonal issues messed with a really large part of my youth but it didn't stop me from time to time to having legendary nights out. So how exactly did a shy kid with a completely underdeveloped body ever made it into a nightclub? Well, let's find out. 15 years later, some of the guys I was hanging out with still remember the epic nights out that we had. Of course, a lot of alcohol was included, but we'll get there in a minute. So because of issues at birth, I lived without going through puberty. Like nothing we're talking about a high pitched voice no body hair no facial hair no testosterone testicles that would make grapes look like baseballs and a completely underdeveloped body and let's be honest an underdeveloped mind too my self-confidence was below zero and i was really used to people not taking me serious or straight out laughing at me by the way i've been laughed at in clubs when i was on the dance floor by random strangers too so it wasn't all positive but mostly it still was i was very nervous and very self-conscious always thinking about what other people were thinking about me i would spend 30 hours of my week working on my kill death ratio on call of duty and i would spend most of my time in my room escaping reality so i wasn't social at all but i had a really good close circle of friends who loved to torture me and take me out even though i was a nervous wreck days in advance i would always be thinking about who was going to be there what they were going to think of me peeing was always a problem too since i had underdeveloped genitals i really hated peeing next to other guys because somehow there is always a dude looking at your cock in bars in brussels talking with women freaked me out too i had no game whatsoever I always got ID checked too everywhere I went. I remember even in my 20s, I couldn't go to the packy buying a pack of cigarettes without getting my ID checked. In other words, social anxiety was killing me and it would have been a total disaster going out except for one single thing, booze. Getting drunk at the time was the only way for me to forget who I was and how I was. It was the only way I could finally let go and just enjoy myself like all the others. When I was drinking, I stopped caring about other people's opinion. I could just go out and enjoy myself. My social skills were suddenly so much better. Suddenly going to a party became fun. Drinking in a bar became fun. Going to a club until 5 a.m. was awesome. Going to Tomorrowland was awesome. I could let go of all the problems and have a good time. There's not a lot of pictures of me from back in those days where I'm literally not holding a glass of whatever type of alcohol when I was going out. Sadly, this also translated my, it became my reality also in family reunions, in business events and others. If I was there, I had a glass in my hand. That's just it. Give me a couple of drinks and the party was on. Of course, even drunk, I still looked like a freaking child. Then came the famous moment where I had to pass bouncers to get in the club. I don't know about you guys, but my generation got drunk on the parking lot and then got inside of the club. So I arrive at the bouncer, I'm supposed to be 19 years old, but I'm looking like this, I have half a bottle of vodka in me and right at the moment where I pull my ID card, my best friend comes from the back, looks at the bouncer and tells him, hey look, this guy's named Uranus. I still remember the bouncer's face. I still got in that night anyway, it doesn't look like it, but back then I had a really big mouth and I had the element of surprise. Plus that evening there were going to be strippers in a cage, so I was definitely going, getting in that night. One time I went in a club and then at 2am I went out to eat some kebab, typical for Brussels, and then when I wanted to get back into the club at 2am the bouncer looked at me and was like, whoa, 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 where do you think you're going? 
So I showed him a stamp on my hand and he was like, whoa, who the hell let this kid in? He told me to go back inside, pick up, pick up my stuff and then get out, you know. So I still stayed for three hours inside and then I hitchhiked my way home at 5 a.m. Sometimes my mom would come to the club and pick me up and what was left of my friends and then at 6 a.m. we went for fresh croissants in a bakery. Typical for Brussels too. First video I ever made on YouTube, I used this image to illustrate my problems and to tell you that I actually lived through this shit, it's not a joke. I really lived through that and because of my friends I have memories and souvenirs that will live forever because without them I would have been in my room playing World of whatever the fuck and now I have actual souvenirs. I mean, I was 19, but I looked 14. I'm in a club with a stripper in a cage, completely drunk, dancing, tectonic, and not giving a fuck in the world about what other people were thinking. Fights? Yeah, I got into some fights, but I never actually threw a punch. I had friends for that, so I delegated that task to my friends. The only time I was on the receiving end of a punch was by a completely drunk English girl that had mixed cider and LSD. That was at the Gay Pride in Brighton. Do not ask me please how I ended up there. That's a story for a totally different time. Too many stories are popping up in my head right now. So like I said guys, I had great 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 times and I created memories that will live on forever and that a lot of people still remember. However, I associated being social and going out with drinking alcohol and that was toxic. I hated my body and the only way to accept how I was and who I was was to get drunk and smoke an entire pack in an evening and that was toxic. I had problems with alcohol in my life because of this and fitness luckily got me out of there. Maybe in the future I will open up more about that aspect. Up to this day I have never stepped on a dance floor sober. I just can't because it reminds me of how awkward I was feeling before and all those times when people looked at me weirdly and made fun just because I was different. I regret not taking care of my issues sooner. I had great times but I know I would have been a completely different person and I might have enjoyed it even more. I probably would have ended up in jail too. Guys, this was my story. If there is one thing to take away from this story, it is to learn to enjoy the present moment. Learn to enjoy and appreciate what you are living right now because very often we simply don't realize how good a moment is until it becomes a souvenir. All right, that was it. Leave me a comment to support the channel. Subscribe if you like my content. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Uranus out.